crater baby crater baby vitamin and mineral give me the piece Ooh! It's everywhere. Can you even see me? Yeah. Am I not dark? No. Yeah. Plenty of light out here. Okay, so this is the end of the morning, but I want to get into something first before we go any further, just to um, update you guys on the ant situation. Remember, we had ants in every single trail camera. Well, today we've changed 15 or 16 cameras, not an uh, ant in a single one of them. So hopefully that was a late spring or like mid spring issue. Like maybe when ants are finding new places to live or whatever, but it wasn't an issue today. Let's get into the video. What's up everybody? Welcome back to Chill Outdoors. I left my house this morning at 4 a.m. so we could be one with nature. It is super early. We didn't have a lot of time today, like always. We're always out of time. So we came out here to check the rackology, check the spy points, put out a little bit of uh, curiosity scent. So let's just get right into it. This will be part of our deer prep 2019 for our deer hunting lease. Let's look at the rockology. Okay, so this wasn't here, this massive uh, crater. So here's what's going on here, I think. So we put this at the very top of a hill. As you can see, we're at the very top, very top of a hill. And this dirt is almost like clay. I think the issue is because a lot of it didn't get even touched, but it's been so dry. So my guess would be, this is where I mashed it up. Do you remember I like stuck my foot in the mud and mushed it up? Um, I mixed up the, this is Rackology Concentrate Vitamin and Mineral, and the deer tear this up when the soil is wet. And I think that's what happened here because they, they have been getting into it but the stuff that was dry stayed dry. The good news is I've had other stuff. Um, I'm not trying to call out any companies, but I've had other brand uh, minerals and stuff that you put on the ground and it molds in the heat of the summer. And the Rackology hasn't done any of that. You can see that they've tore this up and it's all disappeared. Let's start making sure our, uh, our date and times are correct. Yeah. I know we messed idea. with that stuff last week, but so it is July 12th, 6.15. Let's make sure we got all that done. July 12th, 6.21. It's basically right on the money. Okay, we're gonna put some of this Rackology, the vitamin mineral, at this spot, because as you can see, they have destroyed it. Now, look at the difference though. Look how much more moisture is in this. And then some of this dry stuff on the outside, they have hit at some of this. Some of that got a little bit more wet. But down in this little mud hole, um, you can tell they've been hitting at it really hard. And the farmer just bush hogged all this. And a lot of the other spots have like hay or like dead grass over them. The deer have cleaned this out, which is cool with me. That's fine. You can see the grass hanging into it is like all eight and up. So we're going to put a little bit more in here, but we are only going to put it on the moist soil. Because obviously the deer want to eat this... Um, eat this out of wet soil, not dry soil. So that's fine with me. It is what it is. It's not like we hunt the desert. We have we have a big, huge creek right here, so they definitely have water to get to. So let's put a little in there. Ah. It smells like peanuts. Oh, gosh. Ah. Ah. All right, another thing that you guys will start seeing us use a whole lot is the curiosity scent. Now, if you have been around since about September of last year when I found this stuff, you know what it's all about. This stuff is so weird. It's called curiosity scent and everything, all the, I dropped it. All the deer, all the deer seem curious about this stuff. It's the most odd thing ever. And the guy who makes it says it's kind of just a blend of a lot of different things. We will put this on licking branches. We'll put it on the ground. We'll use it as a cover scent. And um, we've even put it on our boots before and like led our way in. And then sure enough, on the trail cam pictures, here's the deer walking right where we walked. So let's go put some of this on the next spot. So straight out this trail is where I killed that deer at seven yards with a crossbow. Excellent video, you should go watch it. I'll put a little thing right here. It's 
hard to beat a big open cornfield. We might get a few pictures here and there, but so what we're gonna do, the camera's right there. We're gonna put some curiosity scent on this tree and we're gonna put some vitamin mineral on the ground. All right, you guys remember that spot. Next time we trek, next time we check trail cameras, bet something sniffing on it. This is why we're getting rid of all these terrible cameras. I'm not naming no brands, but Joey turned this camera on and it j literally just started, the shutter started going insane. Like, oh, <laughs> it is going insane. Close it and it stops. What a piece of poopy, man. Oh, All right. We know we need to bring a spy point out here. Yeah. Vitamin. Vitamin concentrate. Curiosity scent. If this camera decides to work, we'll see what happens. Crater, baby. Crater, baby. Vitamin and mineral. Give me the peak. That's not keys. Ugh. Camera. Vitamin mineral. Curiosity scent. This is where somebody was trespassing. So we set this camera. Um, 10 second delay, three picture burst. The next video after this one will be a huge announcement and a giveaway. So stay tuned. Okay, so to wrap up the video, we didn't put out any um, corn or long range attractant, anything like that. It's just way too dry. Um, I know at my house, it hasn't rained in several weeks and I'm guessing down here, it hasn't rained in just as long. All the spy points look great. All the ones that are not spy points are freaking trash and not worth anything. Um, what else did we do today? Curiosity scent. We put out curiosity scent at five different cameras. We'll see if the deer are sniffing around on that juice. What else do we got? We got another car driving by. I know that. Got anything, Joe? That's it. Quick checkup. Just a quick checkup on the properties. We got out here. We were pulling into the property before daylight. And it's only, what time is it? 7.40? Yeah. All right, we're leaving. We got in and out before eight o'clock in the morning. We didn't spook anything that we saw. We didn't jump anything, but we also didn't tramp around. I mean, we got in and got out. So now it's time to hit up big boy and eat about 30 eggs and bacon and sausage. And then go to work. Peace.